Welcome, and thanks for meditating with Abide. For more guided Christian meditations, download the Abide app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Have you ever prayed for the impossible? Well, today's meditation passage is not a promise that God will do what we want. The God of all time and creation is not a pocket genie. However, we are reminded of God's power. He can do much, much more than we have the capacity to even imagine. So when we kneel before our God, we can bring seemingly impossible requests before Him because nothing is too big for Him. Whether He answers yes or no, He is good and will work everything to His purpose and His glory. And let that be the focus of our time today. Time that will be guided, but I hope you will pause the app often as you allow the Holy Spirit to take you further into a place of peace and rest and alignment with God as you meditate and abide with Christ from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. But first, join me in a moment of opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, my worldview is so small. My dreams are often so tiny, my vision so weak, my hopes so simple. Yet I kneel in the presence of you, God, You are the opposite of small, tiny, weak, and simple. So transform my heart and my mind, too, to have faith in your mighty view, in your dreams, your vision, and your hopes for me, and for your glory and for your purpose. And it is by your authority, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, to whom I pray. Amen. And that's where we will begin today. Purpose. His purpose. His glory. Today, I hope this time of longer, deeper meditation will transform us, will align us to have hopes and dreams and plans that are His, not ours, bring glory to God, not us, and be for His purpose, not ours. So as we begin, take a few deep breaths, just relaxing, peaceful, centering breaths. Just get comfortable and settle into wherever you are, being aware of God experience His presence today, His purpose, because His purpose and glory are what we will be seeking today. Scan your life for a moment. Is there anything keeping you from encountering God today? Any plans that you have that are blocking you from Him, from hearing from Him today, will confess them now to God and then thank Him for His forgiveness. God is able. The Holy Spirit reveals God's purpose. And Jesus is the embodiment of God's glory. Listen carefully to every detail as I read from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power and work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. What did you notice, even slightly, from this passage? It's powerful. Listen to it again. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Reflect here on how God might be using this passage to touch your life today.
This is a prayer from Paul to the church in Ephesus. So let's read it as a prayer. I will pause as you repeat after me. After all, it is a prayer from God's Word. So join me now. Dear Lord God, to you who is able, to you who can do far more than I can ask, to you who can do far more than I can think, to you who is the power at work within me, to you be the glory through all my life and generations. Amen. Stay here a bit longer, letting these words become yours, letting this prayer sing from your heart. Listen again for something familiar or affirming, or maybe something new this time from this passage. This time listen carefully for even more as I read from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within us. To Him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. What did you hear this time? We'll focus there even deeper now in quiet meditation. This amplified version is so humbling here. When we come to God in prayer, we are praying to the God who can do super abundantly more than all that we dare ask, think, imagine, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams. So what is one thing you are praying for right now? Well, amp it up. Lift it higher. Pray it more boldly right now until it sounds almost impossible. That is the realm that God exists, the impossible. Beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams. Dare to pray right now your greatest need, right now, and ask it beyond even your highest hopes and dreams and take all the time that you need. Listen one and final time as I read and you meditate on Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. I pray that Christ Jesus and the church will forever bring praise to God. His power at work in us can do far more than we dare ask or imagine. Amen. In Paul's second letter to the Corinthians in chapter 9, he's talking about the importance of being benevolent and helping others, not holding back. He reminds them that God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing, come in abundance to us, so that we may always, under all circumstances, regardless of the need, have complete sufficiency in everything, being completely self-sufficient in God, and have an abundance for every good work and act of charity. It applies to every aspect, really, of our relationship with God. 
Lean completely into God right now because He is sufficient to care for your needs regardless of what they are. So lean in and dream big. Pray boldly. Take time in this time of prayer, reflection, and soaking to meditate on that truth. The prophet Jeremiah wrote a letter of encouragement to those Israelites in exile in Babylon. Imagine their cries. Imagine their anguish. Being pulled from your home, separated from your family. Imagine their bold and courageous prayers. Well, in the midst of the letter, in chapter 32, God says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? Camp there. Let that be your challenge. How do you answer his question? Is anything too great for him? What is your response? And what is your first prayer in response to that? Voice it now. What have you felt or experienced or maybe perceived or reacted to in this time of meditation? We'll offer it now back to the Lord in quiet reflection, seeking His application of it into your life today. Join me now in a moment of closing prayer. Dear Holy God, You are not simply powerful and glorious. You are power and glory itself. So, I bow before You today and ask big things. I lay my wildest hopes at Your feet today, and I ask that You hear my heart. Fill me with You. Strengthen me. Let me comprehend the love of Jesus Christ that surpasses all human knowledge. Be glorified through my life. Be glorified in your church forever. I offer and pray this in the name of Jesus, your Son, my Savior, and my Lord. Amen. You were almost done, but don't rush off too quickly today. Pause for a moment before heading off into a day that may be full of some doubt, facing what seems to be the impossible. Find extra time right now to consider how you can amp up your prayer life, Pray more boldly. Pray for the impossible. And I hope that consideration will keep you here a bit longer today. No rushing off. No timer or clock. Just listen to the music or sounds on Abide. Or journal whatever God places on your heart. But I hope you will allow the Holy Spirit to hold you in this place for several more minutes. Minutes of profound peace and rest and alignment with God as you meditate and abide in Christ. We hope this meditation brought you peace. For more Christian meditations, download the Abide app in iTunes or the Google Play Store.